I, I think there was a lot more good in TNA during your run, during the whole entirety of TNA than a lot of people give it credit for. And I think that's just a, a lot of fans maybe weren't yeah. watching it. We had, bro, I could tell you this. We had a lot of fun. I, I mean, bro, when, when Hogan and Bischoff showed up, the fun left. But up until that point, bro, I do have to, bro, I was at TNA for almost 10 years. So we we had a lot of fun when we were doing it in those early years. What were the exact years you were in TNA? Oh, bro, I wish I could say. I, I, well, I guess at, we have all the we have all the world's information in our. Yeah, I was here, at so. the second show. I was at the. I, I started working. I, I I was at the second show. Um, then I left for a little while. Then I went back because Jeff's wife came, was stricken with cancer, and, and I knew that Jeff needed help. So I went back to help Jeff and then I left for good in 2012. What was the moment you think that TNA like jumped the shark? Like what was the moment where it's like, yeah, that was a little silly. Nah, bro. I don't think it was that it, 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 it was, it was the Hogan Bischoff thing, bro. It just, it, it just changed the vibe and it changed everything. And I really think bro, a lot of it was financial because the reality of it is Dixie wanted to hire Hulk Hogan. So, so we know that's going to cost a fortune. Sure. And then of course, Hogan pulled the old, you hire me, you got to hire my boy here, which, which again, bro, I don't blame him for that's, that's what they do in wrestling. So I think when Dixie hired the both of them, I don't think she could afford it. So, so now Chris, what happens is, now you start pulling money from everywhere else. Now you start pulling money from advertising and promotion and marketing and, and, and going on the road just in order to cover the nut. And, and I think that's what really happened. It wasn't necessarily anything creative. A lot of people want to say that. I'm not going to say that because it, it wasn't that. It wasn't ideas they were throwing out. It wasn't that at all. I just think at the end of the day, Dixie couldn't afford it, and she had to start pulling that money from other places, which hurt all those other parts of the company.